I need more plants. I need more house plants. You don't need to see how many I have, so you don't need to judge me for not needing more, but I need more house plants. So I'm gonna go to nursery and you're gonna come with me. So first I have to drive to the nursery. Um, I'm probably not gonna be recording while I'm driving, but I will turn it on when I get there. It's finally happening. I'm finally feeling how terrible it is not having a damn pop socket on my phone. So this is just raw footage that I took while visiting my local nursery. Um, I didn't talk during it because, you know, one step at a time, your girl's not used to having her phone out in public. Um, yeah, so these are all beautiful plants, beautiful arrangements, you know, you know. Um, I think this was filmed around springtime, so that's their theme going on. Now you can watch me fail to try to start my intro, pop out some handguns. Oh wait, I, I didn't really like that too much, okay, let's try again. <laughs> I just got back from the nursery. I didn't take as much footage as I was anticipating, um, just because I was so obsessed with all of my beautiful plants that I got. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through and repot them. Um, I kind of assess the care that I buy them in. So sometimes that means like that big monastera, I'm going to just go through with a paper towel and kind of clean it off a little bit. Um, get some of the dust off and then just kind of um, a matter of repotting and yeah so let's see how it goes. They both proved at least. Did you like what I got? Did you like the plants I got? So I'm huge on color as you can see. I was very drawn just these beautiful beautiful colors they had. Um, I'm still very new to these names and learning what they are so I'll kind of go through and um, call out the names once I get my phone put on a tripod but I have, um, I know this is a money tree. I had one before that I loved, but it died unfortunately. And then ferns I'm obsessed with. I found this, this crazy succulent that's um, blooming. So I was rather obsessed. And then, it, then I think a snake plant, obviously I've always wanted a snake plant, Stanley improved snake plant. But above all, oh my goodness, this beauty. I've always wanted a Monastera and this is the only one they had and it's huge and beautiful and amazing. So I'm going back through and doing my video edits and I notice it's pronounced Monstera, not Monastera. I mispronounced it the entire video. This is my sad RIP pot. So I may rehome something in there, but you know, happens to the best of us. Alright, so this is just a sped up video of me chewing some food and putting my hair up. Uh, yeah, I feel like I look kind of cute, so I decided to leave it in, you know? You just gotta do, do what you can. Do what you can. And I scoot, scoot the boot. And oh, failing. And here we go. Damn! Look at these roots. Yeah, they're really like some healthy roots. Here you can start to notice my progressive frustration as I hear the construction workers and then realize it's garbage day. So there's a two for, two for problems. I think that's good. I think we in business. I think we have a second plant. This is a snake plant. They're like really easy to clean the air and they're really easy to take care of. Filmed a bunch of stuff in my backyard. Uh, it was getting really noisy with my neighbors, so now I'm in my luxurious garage, as I'm sure you can tell. So I'm just going to pick up off in here. I was finishing up this babe right as it was getting really noisy, but this is my snake plant that um, I actually haven't ever had one before, but I hear they're one of the easiest ones to keep and it cleans your air, helps you get a better night's sleep. So I was really, really excited to find one of these um, that was super affordable. So I already potted it in a terracotta and it's beautiful. I'll probably wipe it down um, with like a wet paper towel still just to kind of give it a whole new life. But other than that, this one's ready to go. It's this um, really beautiful, like it says an austral gem fern. Um, and it has these really cool like different shapes on the leaves. It's almost like a full starburst like that. So I spilled soil all over myself. Even this dude at the nursery was there buying plants and he's like, I come back and we buy plants because I kill them all the time. And I'm like, well, what are you doing to them? And he's just like, I don't know. I just don't have a green thumb. And I hear people say that all the time, but I don't know. I don't really understand it. <laughs> like it happens to me, obviously. I have a pot that, that has a 
to be dead in it and I'm having to repot right now. Um, but at the same time, like I've managed to keep, I have a plant that I've had for, a couple plants I've had for over 10 years now. It was important for me to realize that like plants are just, you know, just like animals where they're very individualized in their needs. Mm -hmm. The plant even needs to be watered year round. Um, some plants prefer to be like misted on top of being watered. Some prefer like getting ice cubes for the slow release water. Like there's just so much to it. And so like high light, low light, mixed light. Um, so just like reading up on what the specific plant that you have wants and needs to be able to thrive and then give it that. And I don't know what else I could tell people. So this one I was really, really excited to find another one. Um, Granted, they're not uncommon to come across. I just, it's been a really long time since I've bought any new plants. So, of course she took the label off. Yeah, she took the name of this off and kept it with her, but I have another one currently, and this is one of the plants that I've had for over 10 years, and mine has been consistently reblooming every year, like multiple times a year. And so, I've just been so proud of myself for being able to not only keep an indoor plant for over a decade, but one that blooms consistently. So, um, wish me luck in being able to do it again. This one has really pretty kind of like a mix of whites and pinks. Probably not going to work best front facing camera, but I'll go more in depth later. Woot woot, finished up. Um, here's just kind of a quick overview of everything in their happy new homes. My two beautiful little succulents. Um, that little flower guy that I didn't have a name tag for and the succulent that's in bloom Don't mind the creeping of my massive already collection coming through the background um, Another one that I don't know the name for see I'm doing so great at plant vlogging. That's a type of fern again And there's another fern <laughs> You're just both tropical ferns, okay? That's, you know, good to know. And then my beautiful snake plant. And then I got a fish tank and some fish food creeping in the background. It's great. All of them in all their glory, along with some of my older babes I already had. This is the really cool kind of silver-tinted, I don't know, vine-like plant. Again, I'm just so great with names here, clearly. I should do a plant update for this. I'm doing this recording way later, but that vine has grown immensely. It's insane. And there's the money tree plant. Yee!